Hello there. Today we need this engine oil, a Dremel tool, some wire and two plastic bottles. Why? To demonstrate what can happen if we put too much oil in a car's engine and spoiler alert, it's not good. Welcome to Car Spy TV. Right, the purpose of oil is to lubricate, clean and cool the engine, but adding too much can make it far less effective. Let's summarise why. Here's a picture of an engine, at the bottom of which is the sump as represented by this red line. Oil, represented by yellow, pulled within the sump before being pumped around the engine. We also have a crankshaft here immediately above the sump that spins like this thousands of times a minute. If there's too much oil in the sump, the crankshaft sits within it and as it spins, it whips the oil up into a light airy foam, which means it can no longer effectively lubricate, clean and cool the engine. And is that foaming we're going to replicate today using this equipment. So we're going to make a whisk that replicates the spinning of the crankshaft. We'll then use that whisk to whip up the oil and watch it turn into a foam. Step one is to cut off a piece of wire that's going to become our whisk. And for that, we need the cutting disc on my Dremel tool. Now, how long do you think this whisk needs to be? I reckon about there. So let's get cutting. Let's now grab these pliers and bend the wire to a more whisk-like shape. I do have some pliers in the car which would be more suitable for this, but these pliers come more easily to hand. A little bit more. There we go. Right, we can now take the cutting disc out of the Dremel tool and replace it with the whisk, something like that. Better make sure it's tight, which it is not yet. Come on now. There we go. That is tight enough. And now when we turn on the Dremel, we have a little whisk which replicates the crankshaft of an engine. Good, eh? We now need two small containers for the oil, and that is where the plastic bottles come in. Now this bottle's bigger than we need, so let's cut the base off with a Stanley knife. Now, is that blade any good? What do you reckon? Feels sharp enough to me, so let's get to work on the bottle. Come on now, round we go. Okay, there's the base of one bottle, and of course we need to do exactly the same to its brother. There we are, two little containers, and we can now pour some oil into both of them. So off with the lid and try not to spill it. Should be doing this outside really, but we're not. Nice colour, eh? And the same for this container. There we go. Now. The reason we have two samples of oil is for comparison. 
In other words, when sample A is all whisked up and full of air, we can look at sample B and see the difference. Right, it's time to get whisking, and I've put on my old trousers for this because there's a very good chance we'll get splashed. So in goes the whisk via the Dremel, and what we'll do is we'll pop a kitchen towel over the top there to minimise any splashing. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Bit more speed. Well, that didn't take much whisking, just a few seconds, and now the difference between the two samples of oil is night and day. Do you want to see? Yeah? Okay. Come on then. So this is the whisked oil, and just look at all the foam on top there. It looks like a beer, but I don't suppose it tastes as good. And let's compare that to the other sample, which is as it came out the bottle, and what a difference. A totally different colour. This one's clearly full of air, and I, for one, am not in a rush to put that in my car. <laughs> Clearly, this whisked up oil isn't going to travel around the engine as well as it should. Neither is it going to lubricate, clean and cool the engine as well as it should. And that's just one of the ways, and I emphasise one of the ways, that too much oil can damage a car. And that's it, but before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV, that makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favour and click like on this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.